Hey everybody, welcome to Monkshire. I'm Lo-Fi Monk, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Things are really coming together here at Monkshire, and just like B-Dubs always says, there's nothing like horsing around. And I've been using my horse to quickly go from place to place around Monkshire, but, uh... <laughs> if I could only remember where I left him. Anyway, that's all right. Maybe we'll find them as we make our way through town. Uh, I'm on my way to the warehouse so we can find out what our project is for today. Let's grab our clipboard. Grab a couple cookies. You know, we can't think on an empty stomach. All right. Uh, let's have a seat at our chair here. And uh, let's take a look at the clipboard. So this is all stuff from previous episodes. We built our town hall. We upgraded some guard towers, our warehouse. We obtained diamonds and obsidian. Let's go ahead and clear those out. Now, we were we haven't finished the university yet, but I was able to, um, and you can see in the frame back there behind me, I was able to get an enchanting table. We did complete the nether portal. Um, and as you will soon see, as we go about our business today, I did do some terraforming. So, those are all completed let's see uh today's episode you know i love my horse and i've been having so much fun riding around exploring i think it's time we made some pathway changes because it's hard to horse around in some of these uh tinier spaces so yeah we need to spruce up the place and tie things together uh what else maybe even decorate some stuff but the other thing I want to do is make, do some buildings that will enhance our pathways. So uh, let's put this in buildings and uh, you'll see what I mean by that um, coming up here as we work our way down the pathways. But first, let's finish up the university. As we lay the foundation for the university, it reminds me of a few things I've learned, like using knights are a great way to protect the colony, but they need some support. Using archers and druids are a great way to even the odds. And there's no need to supply them with arrows or anything like that, but there is research at the university you can do that if you do supply them, they can deal extra damage. Another thing I learned is if you want to move a building without losing the level, like for instance, this is a guard tower level two, you can come up to the uh, hut block or the building block, you click build options you select a builder and then on the bottom right there's a button that says deconstruct once you click that you just go on about your business a builder will come over here they'll collect all the blocks they'll put them into the warehouse and then you can come back over here and uh, select the block again if you go to build options instead of deconstruct it'll say pick up and you can pick up the block and you'll be able to place it down wherever you like and it will retain the building level. And the last thing I learned is about the colony flag. It's also the last uh, material that I need to give to the builder before they can build the university. I thought I was gonna have to go and gather all of the ingredients to design a flag myself, but um, actually you kind of unlock banner um, design patterns as you progress through mine colonies. So you'll go here and you'll see you can just kind of design a banner. So um, I haven't unlocked any of the patterns that I wanted to use, 
So this is not necessarily what I had in mind, but what I'm going to go with, and I think this is like a tree of life or something. I don't know. Even if it isn't, we're going to pretend like it is, and we're going to roll with it until uh, we unlock some more patterns. I think that'll work for now. Right, the university is complete and uh oh man you can see our um colony banner that we designed up there i think it looks really good let's take a quick little tour oh yep yep we got a nice little study in here for the researchers uh i don't, I don't know what the bed's for i don't think they live here i don't I think they need a house still but um Let's see what the wiki has to say real quick before we check out the, uh, the researcher's office. As you level up the university, you can hire more researchers. One for every level of the university. For research, there are three main focuses. Combat, civilian, and technology. Each new research has its own requirements. Certain buildings need to be at a specific level or higher. Certain items are needed. And research takes time. All right, let's see what research we can get done today. Let's start with the civilian. I'm telling you, something's different. Ever since we built that portal, things have been very strange. I mean, there's all these little purple flowers and... I don't even... Plants that are growing leading up to the portal. I don't know. I don't know if I should clean them up or leave them there. Um, I grabbed one to uh, take for further study, but... Um, we're just, we got a lot of stuff to do today, so we're just going to get on with it. Uh, I want to take a before and an after look of it from on top of the town hall. So I'm going to grab a few things from the warehouse and I'll meet you up on the town hall so we can get a good look at it before we start. Hey, hey, monk. Hey, stop ignoring me. About time you found me, jeez. Of course. You left me by the pond, been standing here all morning parched, and you haven't even bothered to learn my name. You can talk? Yeah, you heard me, pal. Seems your fancy nether water has some interesting side effects. Talking, teleporting. Nether water. I knew something was strange going on with that portal. Wait a minute. How did you get up here? Well, I fought and the next thing I know I'm up here. So, you're gonna give a guy a proper name? 
Uh, right. Talking horse. Okay, that's a new, uh, look. I haven't named you yet. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> thinking about it? I've been carrying your big butt around on my back since day one, and you haven't even considered a name? That's just cold, buddy. Just cold. Hey, I'm a busy guy. Building a kingdom doesn't leave a lot of time for horse naming. Busy? Your people are building the kingdom. You just stand on the roof talking. I just want a decent nickname. Something with a little oomph. And not just, hey horse, or worse yet, you with long face. Come on, use your noodle. All right, all right. How about sparkles? You know, because of the magical water. Sparkles? Seriously? You couldn't come up with anything better than sparkles? Fine, be that way. But don't come crying to me when the zombie mistakes me for sparkly chew toy. Don't worry, buddy. We'll find you a better name. Eventually. Now, how about we head inside and brainstorm some ideas over some hay? How do you feel about the name Debbie? Oh, God. I hope this water wheel's off soon. All right, guys, these pathways are coming along great, but I still need to think of a name for my horse. Also, we still got a long ways to go before we make it to the abandoned mine shaft, so we need to get to work. So real quickly, I want to build a little path from the uh, to the chicken farm. The chicken farmer lives here at this house, and I want to build like a little path that they can take on their way to work. And you can see I have a little, little tiny little trail that's just just worn, worn right here. It's just a tiny little trail for them to get to work. And uh, we're going to build that really quick. We'll complete our pathways.
Where we're going, we don't need scaffolding. <laughs> oh, finally got that project done. Uh, let's go and uh, let's go check it out. It, uh, it's kind of like a sus rope suspension bridge thing. I felt like it was like kind of the uh, kind of the technology that the s citizens of Monkshire would use. Uh, it's a little little out there kind of fantasy style. Uh, there's like a weird counterweight. Tried to make like a balancing beam where they're they're holding these two. It's a very overly complicated bridge just to get around the corner of this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, let's make our way up to the, uh... To our, um... Abandoned mine shaft. All right, there we go. We finally made it. We now have a way up here. Ah, oh, look at this view. All right, let's make our way into the mine shaft. First, we're just gonna pop in real quick, just so I can show it to you guys. We got a project that we're gonna be doing down there. Uh, next episode <laughs> this is where I've been getting my vines from <laughs> uh, my own little vine farm here uh, but yeah it's way way down here all right and here's the mine shaft um, it's very dangerous down here but my plan is, is there's quite a few uh, mob spawners down here. And uh, I think what we'll do is put our enchanting room in here. Yeah, there's a spider spawner right, right, right down there. And then over here, there's a skeleton spawner. And the deep dark. <laughs> so, there's uh, quite a few things we can uh, do down here. And one last thing before we go. I have named my horse. Hi, Charlie. All right. <laughs> Maybe the nether water wore off. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's take a quick quick look at uh what we've done here today all right here we are on top of the town hall things are looking good everything's connected with the pathways uh, there's still a lot of work to do um, and you can see over there I've got some things outlined in wool way over there um, we're going to be working on that next episode and um, the enchanting room in the uh, abandoned mine shaft. I just want to say thanks to everybody that came by and if you made it all the way to this part of the video, please like and subscribe and I want to do a huge shout out to my friend Zapper for doing the voice of my horse. Thank you so much. Go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description um, and... Uh, see you next time. Bye. Peace.